Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes. And today we are going to be making a delicious butterscotch pecan fudge, perfect for the holidays, but can be made anytime you are craving a fudge like this. It is so good, requires only four ingredients and you are going to love it. So let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing here today. We will need one can of sweetened condensed milk, some butter, some butterscotch chips, which you can find in the baking section of your local grocery store, and of course, some pecans. Now, um, I'm going to be toasting my pecans just on a uh, frying pan for a couple of minutes, and then I will let them cool for a few minutes, and then we will move on to making our fudge. So you also want to have a medium saucepan, and that's about it. So let's move on to making our butterscotch pecan and fudge. Okay, so my pecans are toasted and I have just set them aside in a bowl and allow them to cool for a little bit while we work on our fudge. So what we are going to do is in a medium saucepan add in our butterscotch chips, our butter, and our sweetened condensed milk. And over medium heat, we are going to continuously stir until our mixture is all melted together and nice and creamy. Okay, so our mixture looks great. And it should only take a few minutes to melt down and become this smooth consistency. And now at this time, if you want to add in some vanilla extract, you can do so, but I'm going to keep this recipe at four ingredients because it is so easy and so simple. And if you don't add the vanilla, it is still really, really delicious. But it's up to you if you wanna do that, so that's an option. And now that our mixture has uh, melted down and is ready to place into our prepared pan, I am going to add in my pecans, just stir them in with the spatula, and then we are going to place this into an eight by eight uh, baking pan. I will show you mine here. Okay, I sprayed it with some nonstick spray and I placed some parchment paper so it's easy to remove once it is ready. And once we have all that done, we will place it in our fridge and allow it to firm up. So now I will add in my pecans and then we'll place it into our prepared baking dish. Okay, so just keep in mind that when I added in my pecans, I had already turned my stove off. As soon as your mixture has melted down, you want to close it and you want to either remove it off the stove or quickly add in your pecans and then add it into your uh, baking dish. Okay, so now we are ready to place this in our fridge. We're just going to leave it in there for a couple of hours or until it is completely firm. Now, you want to work quickly before placing it into your pan because it will start to um, slightly firm up a little bit. So as soon as you're done, you want to place it in your pan right away. Okay, so we'll place it in the fridge and I will meet you right back here as soon as we are ready to try it. Okay, so my fudge was in the fridge for exactly two hours. It is nice and firm, nice and cold, and we are ready to cut it up into squares. Now you can cut it up into smaller, bigger squares, whatever you like, but um, right now I'm going to cut mine into smaller squares. We are going to try it, and then I will meet you right back here. They are perfectly sweet and delicious, wonderful. The toasted pecans are perfection in this fudge, and it is just so, so good, so easy to put together, and definitely perfect for the holidays. And now, just a few tips. You want to make sure that you do grease your pan, that you use the parchment paper, and uh, when you're cutting your fudge, you want to make sure that you grease your knife with some nonstick spray so it is much easier to cut them in squares. Those are pretty much all the very important tips for this recipe. And now all you have to do is make sure that you keep it in the fridge when you're not eating them and just layer them with some parchment paper or wax paper. And um, that's pretty much it. 
They are so, so delicious. You really need to give these a try. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.